Hey everyone, Scott Radigan here from Functional Lawyer. And today I'm talking about how to get a handle or take charge of your financial cash flow of your business so that uh, money or at least the cash flow of money isn't a stress point or, or something that you avoid in your practice. Now I've seen it a lot um, in my membership or in talking to other doctors, the cash flow is a, is a stressful part of running a business. And that's true. And we've run and I run Functional Lawyer. I also help run my wife's practice. And so uh, I want to make a recommendation that will help you take charge of that stressful thing because it's not a good place to be in where uh, you're not sure if you can pay that bill this month or if there's going to be enough money at the end of the month for you to pay yourself, right? And, and that's kind of the goal. Like at some point, you can't you can't always be working for free. And at some point you should be making a decent living so that you're not so stressed out and you can be more present for your family and your patients and really make the impact that you wanna make in this world and in your community. So one tool that I recommend, and this is a system that I've implemented at Functional Lawyer because it works so well at, at Origins Functional Medicine, my wife's practice is um, the Profit First system. Now, Profit First is a book by Mike Michalowicz, and it's uh, really a cash flow, cash management system that is teaching you to take profit, obviously, first. So two things. One is it's not a, we're not advocating that you go out and you put profit above character, morals, ethics. No, it's doing ethical um, things to make money and not compromising any ethics or morals to make that money in your business. But once that money comes in, what you do with it, that's, that's where the profit uh, first comes in. Uh, and that can be explained better with a, with a formula. So most of the time, uh, business textbooks or anytime you, you hear the word profit from an accountant or an accounting firm, they'll say, well, profits is just income minus expenses. So income minus expenses, whatever's left over is the profit. Now you've probably heard somebody say, pay yourself first, um, pay yourself first, you know, set money aside first. Um, but as you know, human behavior doesn't all like that, and it's a lot harder to do in practice. So um, what Mike Michalowicz advocates is that you, you do pay yourself first. So you get the income, you set aside money for profits, and then whatever's left over is what you have for expenses. Now, it's a little bit counterintuitive, and it took me a couple of reads through the book to really grasp it. Um, but once we implemented that system into our businesses, it's, it's just a lot more stress-free. Um, each month we know where the money is going, where it's coming from, and we know that we have some set aside um, for rainy days or if an opportunity comes up that we can really invest in the business and, and make it grow, we have that. Or if a big surprise um, tax bill, now that it's tax season comes up, we have something set aside there as well. Um, and so what is it? I'll, I'll give you a brief overview because you really should get, get the book. Um, it, Amazon or, or Barnes and Noble or wherever you get books, uh, Profit First. There's a 2017 edition, I think, and there's a, there's a first edition as well. But how it works in a nutshell is this. Um, when money comes into your business, most people start out with just a checking account and a savings account. So money will come in, income will come into the checking account, but then they also pay bills out of that checking account. So they leave money in there for bills. Um, and then at some point or towards the end of the month, they take some money out as the owner and they move it to either savings or they put it in their personal bank account as well. And that's great um, if you're disciplined enough to, to be uh, an accountant or, or have an accounting brain and can you know, mentally see where all your money is going. But for most of the rest of us that, that aren't finance majors, um, that's a hard way to run a business and know where all the money is going and know that you've got some upfront. So what um, the author, Mike Michalowicz, recommends um, takes a little bit of work to set up and it takes a little bit of, like I said, it takes a little bit of time to understand it. But once you do, um, it really changed our, our relationship with cash flow um, in the business. And I'll give you an example of that. So a couple of years ago, we had a tax bill uh, that came back from our CPA who prepared our taxes. And they said we owed um, $10,000. Um, uh, it was stressful because we, you know, didn't, <laughs> we frankly didn't have $10,000 set aside in the business to just pay that, you know, lump sum. We had to kind of find it and put it together and pay that tax bill. But fast forward to uh, last year, 
where I was expecting just based on really conservative estimates, hoping, you know, aiming to go higher, I was, I was anticipating a bill of something like $40,000. Um, and <laughs> this, this is a good time to stop and say, you know, you should really um, plan out your, your tax bill before it becomes tax time. So get with an accountant, get with a bookkeeper and really figure out how you can minimize or set aside or make estimated payments before this becomes a thing. But I was expecting a bill of about $40,000. And thanks to the profit first system, I was prepared to pay it. I was hoping it would be lower um, because the accountants or the CPAs do their CPAing um, and come out with a good number for you. But um, I wasn't expecting it to be $20,000 lower. So I was ecstatic to get a tax bill of $20,000 where just a year or a couple of years before, I was kind of scrambling or at least very shocked that the tax bill would be um, $10,000. So um, there's a lot of things that go into tax bills, whether you're paying it quarterly or monthly estimated payments. But the point is the confidence was there and I was, I was ready. And I ha now we've had control over the finances that, you know, if the, now I know in working for a couple of years with the accountants closely and that we pay estimated taxes now, um, because we set it aside each month according to the profit first system. So um, what he recommends is basically having four or five bank accounts. And when money comes into your income account, rather than going into one big bucket of a checking account, um, it kind of sits there in like a holding account. It just goes into the income only account. And then periodically, he says twice a month, I have found that once a week works better for us. You distribute that money, the revenue that you've made into your accounts, the different places where it goes. And um, it might be a little bit different for most industries. Um, if you have employees, if you have labor, if you have a bunch of other stuff going on, if your industry is very specific. But um, for the most part, you can, you can put them into four different categories. So one is profit. So owner, owner pay, what you take home, put that money in there first. And then you put some money into a profit account. So owner pay, profit account, you set aside some money for taxes, and then, then at the end, whatever's left over goes into the operating expenses account. So you pay all your bills from your operating expenses account, you know when it's getting lower, you know what you've spent that month, and it's much easier uh, to keep track of money um, so that um, you don't forget to put money aside for taxes, you're not just paying bills, paying bills, paying bills, and hoping that you have money left over at the end of the day or at the end of the year. Um, and it's a really good system for just kind of confidence. So I highly recommend you check out the book, Profit First. What you put into each of those, um, those accounts kind of is based on some percentages and formulas that he gets into here. It's not that complicated. So for example, um, you could put 50% into owner pay, um, five to 10% into profit, 15 to 20% into taxes, and then about 30% into operating expenses. So if you don't know what your operating expense percentage is right now, or what those percentages are today, it helps walk you through how to figure that out and then how to get those percentages closer so that you're paying yourself a little bit more, you're setting aside money and you have finally have control over your finances as well. So um, I'll put a link down in the description where you can grab this um, from Amazon or wherever but um, I highly recommend you check it out. It really has changed um, the confidence that we approach our businesses with. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And we'll see you in the next time.